Okay, hello. Hi. Hi, Konrad. Hi, Helmut. The mouse brought the camper. Again. The mouse brought the camper. So, good, good mouse. Normally, this mouse is in here in the lowest <laughs> stage. Okay, so we make a profile. We make another profile. We had this really success. Uh, we really succeed with this uh, former profiles. Yeah. So we need something different. So we need uh, maybe a cleaner, That's maximal headroom amp. The, we, uh, we, we've got the best. In the You've house. got the best. The high watt. The, yeah, real, the, the real high watt. The old one. Who is using, which uh, famous guitar okay. players are using them? The David Gilmour. Ah, he, uh, okay. <laughs> And why? Because it's a really great pedal platform. It's totally clean, loud, if you wish. So I, uh, the master volume is, is on nine o'clock, which is really loud. So it's really clean. And you can mix the both channels, which is in the case of the high watt, quite effective. Yeah, everything possible. And for me, I, I think I told it a few times, it's comparable to a giant tweet fender. Ah. This characteristic, I, I'm sure David Gilmour and this, I'm sure he uses Fender Tweed in the studio mm. for this kind of platform, clean platform. And for life, why not taking the 100 watt monster? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so that's, that's the way we profile it as a clean, very clean uh, a pedal platform. So maybe best use would be. With, pe with pedals. So this is nice because camper users sometimes use pedals as well. So in the input stage, as yeah, I'm yeah. doing, I use mm -hmm. four or five pedals in front of the camper and sometimes it works well. And we want we are aiming to get uh, this, this uh, headroom into the camper. So well, let's try this. Show us a little bit how it sounds. Yeah, it's really, really, really clean. But a nice clean. Very, very clean. And, for instance, what do I have here? You know, any, any kind of boost. That's the really good thing with this headroom. You can use any reverb or delay in front of the input, and it works great. That's the way the Gilmore does it, I think. In front of the input yeah, yeah, of the yeah. amp? Yeah. So that's the really uh, good thing with this very, very clean amp. Yeah, and the pedals, <laughs> that's the interesting thing. The last uh, few, uh, I think, uh, episodes, we always used crunchy amps. Mm -hmm. And that's such a difference for all this, because these, uh, except of the Vermurium Karen, which I uh, had now, All the others are very low and medium gain overdrive, which work very good with a crunchy amp. Mm -hmm. But with a uh, this kind of clean amp, hmm. yeah, it's different. Why not? Why not? Uh It's the clone of the solo tires. So they are, most of them are clean boosts, except of the Karen. The Karen is a bad monster. Yeah, but that's another approach. If you have this really clean amp, you should uh, or think about uh, a pedal setup 
like David Gilmour does, he has forever against age a battle. I think most of them are this tube driver, the mm -hmm. butler, but one is slightly overdriven, one is heavy, and then compression and uh, fuzzes and all of this work perfectly because he's so clean. Other, the, the other really good thing, as we heard lots of times, is the solo tires in a cranked marshal. That's the very other extreme. But not so easy for putting delay effects mm. also in front of the input stage. Now, yeah, let's see, we didn't try it yet. That's the first time we, we, we profiled the high watt. Okay, so let's do it and yeah. let's take a look at it afterwards okay. after we did it. So, so, okay, so we did it, let's try. If we let's compare right. it. Yeah. So what do you think what it is? Sounds good. I don't hear a difference. <laughs> okay, so it's good. We switched between. And yeah, so soon it will be available in the web store and just take a look and try it. Okay, back again. Next amp. <laughs> the next amp is this. Next amp, same camper. The famous Jimi Hendrix. Yes, the, the, I think the name is GM Android Super whatever. Super, super, G, super 100. Very few, I think 600 they built. Yeah. Uh, after the uh, very, very original, uh, because one road manager uh, came, came along with the amp and said, that's one of Jimmy's, and they built, built it after this. It's uh, a little bit different because it has KT66. Oh, tubes, great. Which is fantastic. Fantastic, yeah. especially for clean. Yeah. This is not an amp I would uh, make this move. Mm -hmm. Everything on 10, is like Hendrix did it, a little bit crunchy, depended always on what he turned on, but it wasn't print, it, it wasn't a, a heavy, a very heavy sound. It was strut in a very lively 100 watt like this is. <laughs> Slightly crunchy. But this, but this amp is hand wired, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's a, it's a, it's a great amp. It, it's such a, 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 a lovely clean sound, and uh, also on the high treble where we are is no bright cap, mm -hmm. like it's usually on these four knob marshals. So you can have this very, very clean sound also on bedroom level. Mm. No, it's a really, it, it's a, that would be my pedal platform. Mm. Great and very loud. I think on stage it would be incredible. It's 80 watt, it's, it's, yeah, it's loud. <laughs> and four K, uh, KT. Yeah, yeah. 66. Yeah. Yeah, they look nice and uh, I really like it. I had it in my basement once a one, long time ago. Yeah, great tubes. All this uh, non EL34, which is okay, but because it's it's, it's very, we, we, yeah, we all know it. But these uh, very few models with the KT88 and the KT66, they are very good. Mm. Okay, so yeah. let's do it. Let's okay. So we did it we and did it. let's take a look at it. Thank you. 
said, I don't hear. I couldn't tell. Me not either. <laughs> but uh, let's try when I use the camper and uh, adjust the gain a little bit. Okay. That's maybe... That's the gain from the camera. But turned on the gain a little bit. No, also use, uh, you, you yeah, I think it sounds great because it has this yeah. overtones, this yeah. nice yeah. one. Okay. I think it sounds great. It sounds great, yeah. Yeah, uh, we would like you to give us some feedback. How you like the camera? No, one we got one. One guy uh, was very satisfied, I think. Uh, first, he wrote, first he was a little bit disappointed because it's oh, only two sounds. Yeah. But then he said what we said, better Two sounds good. Yeah, and not too great, awesome. But uh, that's yeah, that's the philosophy yeah. behind it. Just one profile and this one yeah. sounds. Because that's really, really hard. Uh, we know it all from the old times when we started with drum machines, not uh, choosing uh, 22,000 different uh, symbols. Oh, uh, what uh, number 83 was not bad, I think. No. And finally, you come back to the first. Yeah. So and that's the same with the presets on the camp or the profiles. Yeah, that could be. A and you need not program. to make a profile of each setting on the on the on the on the tone control. This doesn't make sense because you have a tone control here, and this it works well. Yeah, so if you need a little, little bit the, more brightness. That's the only uh, not so. Also, that's the difference. <clears throat> on an on an amp, you can do whatever you want. On a camper, you have the snapshot of this amp and. You can also do very, uh, very much with the knobs, but it reacts different, yeah. as it would be. It, it, it are not the amp knobs. You but do you the, do you use a lot of settings on the tone control on, on uh, no, these amps? No, especially not when I, where, while I'm playing, playing. So that's it's the same thing. You that's don't need a, thing, yeah. a lot of presets on your amp. I remember on my ADA preamp, you know this MIDI amp, yeah, yeah. you could set, program each setting of the tone control and finally there was just one sound on each channel, yeah. which was <laughs> good enough. Take a look at the web shop, Beaver Rocks, Beaver Dot Rocks, and there's a lot of uh, used gear as well. It, it, right? It's growing, yes, yes. There's a love pedal, I've seen this one. Yeah. And uh, soon there will be my... Yeah, yeah, soon there will be a lot of <laughs> Maybe stuff. guitars, I don't know. Maybe amps. Who but knows? for sure pedals. Yeah. Maybe a research pedal. <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing I will sell. <laughs> okay, so thanks for being there and yeah. see you.